Jonathan Haidt, The Righteous Mind, Why Good People Are Divided by Politics and Religion. Dive into the fascinating world of human morality as we explore Jonathan Haidt's The Righteous Mind, Why Good People Are Divided by Politics and Religion. Unravel the complexities of our moral intuitions that guide our decision-making, often trumping rational reasoning. Discover the influence of self-interest and reputation on our moral compass, and take a journey through the moral foundations theory to understand the basis of human behavior. Finally, confront the cultural biases in psychological research and delve into the evolutionary aspects of human nature, selfishness, altruism, and hive mentality, as well as the intricate role of religion and its impact on communities. Intuition in Moral Decision-Making Infants use intuitions when making moral decisions, emphasizing the importance of feeling over reason. Studies show that initial judgments based on intuition remain strong even in the face of rational arguments. Moral decision-making is driven by intuition, prompting individuals to feel that certain actions are wrong. This instinctive response is demonstrated even in infants as young as six months old who consistently preferred a good puppet over a mean one after watching a puppet show. As research demonstrates, intuition also holds great power among adults when making moral judgments. Once that initial judgment is made, reasoning follows to support the feeling rather than reject it. In instances where participants were asked to judge a situation whether it was right or wrong for siblings to have sex most determined it as wrong. Despite arguments that supported it, the use of protection, kept a secret, and that the siblings enjoyed it, intuition prevailed over reason. Thus, intuitions in moral decision-making remain crucial when making decisions, prioritizing feeling over reason. The elusive nature of moral reasoning. Our moral reasoning is not as objective as we may believe. It is greatly influenced by our self-interest and concern for our reputation. Research indicates that our moral reasoning becomes more thorough when we need to justify our decisions to others. Additionally, people adjust their understanding of right and wrong when their personal interests are at stake. For instance, most people cheat when given the opportunity, but only if they can still feel that they did nothing wrong. This shows that moral reasoning is not a detached, sterile process but deeply affected by others, even if they are not present. The Universal Basis of Moral Instincts The Moral Foundations Theory explains how our moral instincts, based on universal moral foundations, are shared across all cultures and our evolutionary adaptations to challenges in social life. These foundations, such as fairness, serve as the basis for human behaviors like collaboration and reciprocation of favors. However, while all humans share these foundations, they can manifest in different ways in different cultures. Authority, for example, is a shared moral foundation but can differ drastically between Western and Asian cultures. Despite these differences, moral interests are based on the same foundations. Psychology and Weird Cultures Psychology has largely been studied in weird, Western, educated, industrialized, rich, and democratic, cultures, which are not representative of humanity's general psychology. Research has revealed that weird people prioritize individualistic moral values, while non-weird individuals value the community in sacredness. For instance, non-weird cultures are less inclined to protect the rights of the individual over that of their nation, religion, or family. Studies have shown that weird people are less likely to consider sex with a chicken carcass an immoral act if it does not harm anyone. Non-weird people perceive such an act as degrading and dishonoring to their moral values. Consequently, weird people's culture and sense of morality stand out as exceptions compared to individuals in cultures that value the community and the sacred in their sense of morality. The Paradox of Human Nature Despite being wired for selfishness, humans are also capable of great selflessness and altruism. This paradox is explained by evolution at two levels, individual and group. Natural selection incentivizes selfishness at the individual level, while group adaptation favors cooperation, resulting in the existence of both traits in humans. 
most people exhibit a strange mix of selfishness and selflessness. While we often strive for more significant status, money, and happiness than those around us, we are also capable of astonishing altruism and selflessness. This paradoxical nature is caused by the two levels of evolution that have shaped our minds. At the individual level, natural selection rewards selfish behavior. Individuals compete against each other for resources, and those who are more selfish have a higher probability of succeeding. In contrast, evolution has also made us capable of and willing to cooperate in groups, leading to the emergence of effective teamwork. When groups collaborate, their ability to hunt, gather, raise children, and defend themselves increases, resulting in better survival chances. The second level of evolution has given rise to shared intentionality, a group adaptation that allows for cooperation, labor division, and accountability. In conclusion, the paradox of human nature arises due to evolution at two levels, which incentivize selfishness and cooperation simultaneously. The Evolutionary Advantage of the Hive Switch As humans, we have a deep-seated need to belong to something larger than ourselves. This need is hardwired into our brains through a hive switch, which enables us to become like bees in a hive, working together for the common good. This adaptation provides an evolutionary advantage by making groups more cohesive and successful. Even when alone, we can trigger our hive switch by experiencing feelings of awe in nature or by using a psychedelic drug called psilocybin. This can lead to a selfless sense of connection to the universe and a heightened sense of community in a group. By flipping the hive switch, we gain the ability to cooperate and regulate our own self-interest for the greater good of the group. This book explores the science behind the hive switch and how it has led to the success of cohesive and cooperative groups throughout history. The Advantages of Religion Many scientists believe that religious beliefs prevent people from thinking rationally and embracing modernity. However, while religious groups can commit atrocities, they also serve an important function by binding communities together with shared morality. In fact, ritual practices within religious groups have been shown to increase cohesiveness and trust, leading to longer survival rates than secular groups. Additionally, religious communities have been found to exhibit higher levels of altruism, as evidenced by their increased charitable giving and volunteer work. By emphasizing trust and group activities, religion can produce cohesive, altruistic, and moral communities. While it's essential to be aware of the potential drawbacks of religion, it's equally important to consider its positive impact. Moral Interests in Politics the political affiliations of the working class have long been a puzzle for scholars. However, the Republican Party's appeal to loyalty, authority, and sanctity has proven more effective in attracting these voters than the Democratic Party's concern with care, fairness, and liberty. While both parties endorse themes of care, fairness, and liberty, the conservatives' definition of these values center around rewarding hard work and limiting government involvement. On the other hand, the Democratic Party is more focused on protecting vulnerable groups, promoting social justice, and safeguarding civil liberties. By speaking to loyalty, authority, and sanctity, the conservatives are able to appeal to a broader range of moral foundations when wooing voters, which may explain why working-class people are more inclined to vote for Republican candidates. The Threat of Political Polarization Political polarization is on the rise, and the lack of middle ground between liberals and conservatives is only getting worse. This trend is reflected in public policy and voters alike. The failure to agree on raising the debt ceiling in 2011 had a significant impact on stock markets globally. However, the best type of governance would be a combination of both liberal and conservative strengths. Liberal strength is in finding government regulations to help victims of oppression, while conservatives focus on the overall welfare of society, opposing changes that weaken traditions and institutions. The polarization of public policy threatens the entire world. As we conclude our exploration of the righteous mind, we are reminded of the moral foundations that underpin our decision-making, and how factors such as self-interest and reputation can sway our beliefs. 
While culture can influence the display of our moral values, universal moral foundations remind us of our shared humanity. The simultaneous development of selfishness and altruism in humans highlights our adaptability, while the concept of the hive switch unearths our innate need to belong. It's important to recognize the role of religion beyond the confines of dogma, cherishing the altruistic qualities it can offer. While politics may divide, understanding the strengths of both liberalism and conservatism might solidify our future and promote a more balanced society.